folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video on the uh, LX models, uh, Northrop YF-23 YF ATF, or Advanced Tactical Fighter. This airplane particularly is from uh, Banana Hobbies. It's one of the more unique airplanes around, um, simply because uh, back in the early 90s, the YF-23 was competing against the YF-22 and ultimately lost the contract. YF-22 got produced. Only two of the YF-23s uh, now exist in the museums. But uh, uh, thanks to Banana Hobby and LX Models, we just have this really nice airplane to fly. Um, the YF-23 was technically actually faster and stealthier than the YF-22, but because of production reasons, um, uh, the YF-22 got, got produced. Uh, overall, I'm real impressed with this thing. Uh, to give you an overview of this, um, it, uh, it has uh, twin 70 millimeter uh, EDF units with 2100 kV brushless outrunners, 250 amp speed controllers, and it's all powered by a six cell pack that fits up front. About 4,000, I'm running a 4,500 4, uh, milliamp uh, pack in here. Um, it's, uh, it's a six channel airplane, but no rudder. It does have nose wheel steering, uh, but it has uh, aileron elevator, uh, nose wheel steering, uh, flaps, and uh, retractable landing gear. Um, it just flies beautifully for an airplane that normally runs on, uh, it, it needs several computers to fly. We're flying it with just, uh, again, a six channel radio, basically. Um, overall, folks, I'm gonna flip this over, give you a, give you an overview. Take a look at the landing gear on this thing. It's got lots of suspension and it even has wheel brakes set up here. You can see those wired in. I'm going to go ahead and retract the landing gear for you so you can see what that looks like. Very nice guys. I would like to have seen gear doors on it but uh, the landing gear uh, works fantastic. Even on my grass here it seems to handle it quite well. All right, simply outstanding. Now on grass, you don't need the wheel brakes, but if you're flying off a of pavement, you're probably gonna need them. Um, there is a hatch under here that un un unbolts and or just with these two little latches, and uh, it lets you get inside uh, to the compartment that houses um, the receiver. Uh, it also houses um, uh, the brake control board, landing gear control board, uh, and so forth. Now also here, there's two flaps provided. You can see I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extend those for you. A takeoff and a landing setting I put in there. And, uh, and they really function quite well to help this the plane uh, both uh, take off and land. Now, uh, in addition to this flight demo, this is a uh, part three of a, uh, of a three part series. So be sure to check out uh, the links at the end where I'm gonna have a, uh, uh, where I have an unboxing to show you guys all the parts. And I have a lot of tips in the building guide that you guys can check out that'll help you get this uh, airplane together. Now I'm plugged in and uh, ready to go. I'm just doing a quick flight control check here, making sure everything's working okay. And uh, Pete's going to record the action. We're going to go ahead and taxi out and give you guys a flight demo of the uh, YF-23 from uh, Banana Hobby. Quick flight control check again. Taxi the airplane out. And uh, do a setting of uh, takeoff flaps in there. And we'll get it out here to the center line. Apply full power. And away we go. Flaps are up, gear's coming up. Now this airplane, the first time I flew it, it seemed very difficult. But uh, after flying it around a little bit, it really is just a challenging airplane to fly. Once you get used to it, and you get used to what it looks like, it's actually relatively easy to fly. Now we clocked this thing at 101 miles an hour on the pocket radar. So it'll move right on out, guys. It is a fast model plane. But again, it handles quite well for, for an advanced tactical fighter airplane. See if I can give you guys sort of a slow pass with it. Relatively slow, anyway. All right, that's slow for an ATF. Give you all some steep turns in the middle. Just a nice flying airplane, folks. Straight jet, no vector thrust or anything. Just a good flying airplane. Now I set my plane up to deal with inverted flight by securing the battery, and you can check that out in the build guide. 
So I'll give you a little inverted pass here. It does it quite nicely. Bring it around here. Lots and lots of speed with this plane. See if I can give you all a presentation pass with it. You guys can see the top side here. It just moves right along. Now you get about three minutes of flying time on this plane. So uh, you want to be very careful with your timing on this. The gear's coming down. I'm putting flaps down. And I'm going to go ahead and bring her on in for a landing. Cross with about half throttle now. Bring the power back. Ooh, little bounce there. There she is. All right, now drive her on back. Now, surprisingly, this plane is really meant for uh, runways, but uh, the landing gear really handles the grass quite well. It's very tough stuff. Now one of the most challenging things to fly in this airplane is really getting your speed right on landing. Flying it normally all the way around is actually pretty easy, but getting your speed right is real important. Now I'm back to just under half throttle here. This thing is very slippery uh, and it will come in kind of hot. So you want to ease your power off into the flare and let it settle nicely. There we go. So if you take your time, use some flaps landing this thing. Uh, it will come in, uh, as you can see, uh, quite nicely and not go all the way to the, uh, the end of the runway. All right, guys, uh, once again, uh, thanks for checking out this video, uh, the YF-23 uh, ATF from uh, Banana Hobby and LX Models. Uh, just a fun airplane to fly, very fast. Uh, intermediate to advanced category, uh, definitely for, uh, for flying skill, um, but, uh, but definitely a, a good flying airplane for a plane, again, that normally needs computers to fly. Uh, anyway, folks, be sure to check out the links at the end of this video uh, for the unboxing and the build guide. I got a lot of good tips for you guys getting this thing set up. It's very easy to build. Uh, once again, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for checking out RC Informer, and we'll see you next time.